17 has some amazing new features that you just have to know, like an AI voice cloning tool that can talk for you, this is my cloned voice, a brand new mode that turns your iPhone into a bedside clock, and a few new hidden customization features. There are just so many cool new things, so let's get into it. Okay, now you guys have got to check out this awesome new feature because remember when Apple brought this auto cropping to the iPhone where it cuts your subject out from the background? Well, now you can tap on add sticker and bam, just like that, you have a custom made sticker from one of your images. But it doesn't end there because if you open up messages and tap on the sticker icon, then the plus, you can select a live image and all you do is wait a couple of seconds for it to automatically remove the background. Then tap add and now you have a live sticker. I mean, this is insane. So from here you can then drag your live stickers or normal stickers onto messages within the message app and they'll continuously play. But what's even cooler is if you tap and hold on any sticker you can select add effect and there are four different ones to choose from. What's crazy is the puffy and shiny sticker actually react based on how you're holding your phone and all these stickers can be used in third-party apps like WhatsApp. So you can spice up your stickers with some sweet old-school effects just like this that kind of make me feel like I'm back in the 90s. This feature is probably one of my favorites from the update, but this is just the tip of the iOS berg. There's still so much more. Now this is probably going to be one of the biggest hits when it comes to the new update and it's contact posters. It is so cool because when you phone someone, your custom contact poster will actually show up on their phone. So to edit yours, all you got to do is click on the phone application, then tap your name and in the top right hand side, click on edit. Then the fun really begins because there's actually so many different options you can choose from. You can choose to use a photo, emoji or monogram, so I decided to go with photo. And what's awesome is just how much you can customize that photo within the poster. So you can resize and position your image, but then decide on a different style. Maybe you want to cut the background out or even choose a completely different background color. There really are a ton of different options. And after that, you can tap on your name and then decide on the font and also what thickness you'd like that font to be. Once again, you can also change the color. And a nice little tip to getting a good looking poster is to really theme it out and get a bunch of different matching colors. And this also works the other way around. So of course, if you have a contact that has created their own poster, every time they phone you, their custom poster will appear on your phone. And to make sure this all works, just click on contact photo and poster below yours, then just toggle on name and photo sharing. This does only work with iPhones, but if you do have any contacts with an Android phone, you can still create a custom poster for them yourself that you will see on your phone every single time they call. So another insanely cool feature that Apple just dropped is actually called Name Drop. How this works is when you tap your iPhone against another iPhone that also has the iOS 17 update, you can instantly swap contact details. So from now on, if you ever wanna get someone's contact details, you literally just gotta bang your iPhones together. But another banging new feature is found within the phone settings called Live Voicemail. If you turn this on, what this feature does is when someone phones you, if you leave it to go to voicemail, you'll now see a live transcription of what the person is saying on the voicemail in real time, which you can then decide if you want to take the call or not. And while we're on the topic of voice, I suggest you stick around because later on, I'll show you how your iPhone can actually clone your voice by using nothing more than artificial intelligence. Now this is another huge favorite of mine and it's standby mode, which basically turns your iPhone into a bedside clock, but there is still so much more to it. So within settings under the new standby mode, right over here, you can just toggle it on. And what I really like is whether you charge your phone with a cable, as long as you place it down horizontally, it'll work, or you can just use a MagSafe charger. So I've got a stand for mine, but either way, your phone has got to be charging for it to activate. Then here's what makes it so cool because you can choose between different clock styles as well as different widgets, or you can customize it further by tapping and holding down. So here's the list of widgets that are currently displaying, but if you tap the plus icon, here is where you can choose from even more widgets, like the battery one, for example. I also really liked the music widget, so I added that too. And believe it or not, you can even add a widget to the opposite side, so if you didn't want a clock, you could do that too. But there are even more options if you swipe left, like this photo clock, where it displays some of your favorite pics, but you can choose a custom album by clicking on the plus icon. Just scrub through your albums, pick your favorite 
one and for bam you got a photo clock and if that's still not your thing you can swipe left again then swipe up and there's even more options again just click and hold down to customize them even further by choosing different colors this is my personal favorite from the whole bunch but i absolutely love this feature and during the day it'll display the clock normally but at night when it's dark it'll automatically switch to this deep red night mode so that the light doesn't keep you awake so one of the biggest updates to widgets is that they are now finally interactive straight on the home screen. With iOS 16, you couldn't interact with widgets like reminders, for example. The contact widget never had any buttons, but now you can message or call straight from the widget. And for some crazy reason, you couldn't even control music from the music widget, but now you can. Another widget that got a much needed upgrade was photos. Cause believe it or not, up to this point, you actually couldn't choose the pictures you wanted to display, but now finally you can choose any album. You just gotta tap and hold down on it, then click edit widget and right over here, you can select any one of the albums you have ever created. And just keep in mind, the pictures will change roughly every hour. As mentioned with the contact widget, you can now add buttons. So you basically run through the same steps to edit it by tapping and holding down, then edit widget, but what's really cool is that they've allowed you to choose what app you'd like to message or call your contact with. So for example, you can choose to call with FaceTime but message with WhatsApp. It's totally up to you, but this is just so nifty. Another epic upgrade is the Find My widget because you can now track items right from the widget and it'll even display the item's battery. Also, a little tip, whenever you're editing your home screen, if you accidentally make a mistake, did you know, you can just shake your iPhone and instantly undo any mistakes. Amazing. Now the lock screen also got a couple new epic customization updates and the first one is adjusting the clock's font. So if you tap on it, you can now thin out or thicken the font and this does work on most of the fonts, but not all of them just yet. Even though this is a minor update, it does actually make quite a big difference to the overall look and I like it. The astronomy wallpapers also got a big update because you can travel way past the moon and Mars now to Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and even Uranus. <laughs> I also love the little animation or movement that happens when you unlock your iPhone. It's subtle, but so nice. Then there's also a new hidden wallpaper. If you open up photos, you can now select any live photo. And what's important is once you've found the live photo you wanna use, make sure this icon is turned on because then it'll keep the movement. So now, whenever you unlock your iPhone, you get this sweet dynamic slow motion wallpaper and I absolutely love it. Then this is a brand new wallpaper option called Kaleidoscope. There are a bunch of different options and at first it may just seem a little bit boring, but as soon as you lock or unlock your iPhone, you get this little animation and it's just so freaking cool. Now, there are a few nifty new features that everyone must know, and the first one is you can now finally add multiple timers. It's kind of wild that you couldn't do this before, but now if you need a five or 10 minute timer, just click the plus icon and add as many as you want. And as you can see, they'll all run simultaneously together. I've personally been wanting multiple timers for so long, so it's nice to see that Apple listens. Another nifty feature you must know is if you head into Siri settings, then tap on listen for, you can toggle this option on where you don't need to say hey anymore. Now all you have to do is say Siri, set a five minute timer. Five minutes, counting down. Which is so much easier than saying the whole hey thing. Then the lookup feature also got a bit of an update because now photos will automatically identify what's in every picture and label it with these icons. What's even crazier is that with some pictures like this food dish, if you tap on the lookup icon, it'll actually give you recipe results based on that picture. How cool. Okay, so within the Messages app, you now also get a really nifty new feature. If you click on the plus icon, then scroll up, you'll find it right over here called Check-in. And it's basically a security feature. So if you're going back home from a night out, you can send a check-in to one of your contacts so that when you get back home, they'll get a notification. To get it to work, you just need to click on the edit button and in here you can choose either between the timer option or location option. And how it works is for the timer option, you just gotta set an ETA of when you think you'll actually arrive. Then send that to your friend and instantly they'll get a notification that you've shared a check-in with them and they'll be notified of when you arrive. Then when you do actually get to your destination, your iPhone will quickly prompt you to finish the check-in. It works almost exactly the same with location, however you can change the address as well as type of transportation. I I personally really like this feature because if you don't arrive, your contact will be alerted and your current location will be sent to them. 
Also within messages, from now on, whenever you receive a voice note, it'll automatically be transcribed for you so you can quickly read it instead of having to listen to it. And thank goodness, you can also finally swipe right to reply on any message. Now you may not believe it, but your iPhone can clone your voice. Wow. It's actually crazy at how simple it is to do this. And all you gotta do is head into the accessibility settings and scroll down to personal voice. In here, you can tap on create personal voice and basically get started with it. Once you've named your new voice, what you gotta do is read out all the different prompts it shows on your screen. It's actually really self-explanatory and all you gotta do is follow the steps. The nice thing is it actually shows you the pronunciation and you can also redo any takes if you mess up. In total, it takes around 20 minutes, but just take your time when setting it up and really speak nice and clearly. After you're done with all the recordings, the AI will start training. Just make sure you have your iPhone plugged in and on charge because it won't do any training unless your phone is charging. But training the AI does take some time because it can take anywhere from one day to a few days. But once all of that is done, head into your live speech settings and make sure to turn this on. After that, in the voices section, just select your personal voice you created. And now you can just tap the side button three times to open this up, then type out whatever it is you want and check this out. Hey, does this sound like me? This doesn't actually sound too bad but I think it still needs just a little more work. As you can see, there are so many new amazing features that actually make a massive difference. And the new iPhone 15 is also just around the corner, so make sure you like and subscribe to check that video out, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!